Hi, Bold Bakers. As you can see, I'm still in my bed. That's because I'm going to take you with me on my journey throughout the day to show you what I do. And also, I'm going to make a mug meal for every meal because they're my most popular online. So I wanted to show you how easy it is to make them. But first things first, I got to get up baby George and head into the kitchen. Okay, we are up and ready for the day. So we get up early here in this house because George likes to wake up around six-ish. But we head into the kitchen and get our breakfast. And here is our daddy. Morning, guys. Hi. Hey, buddy. How are you? Mwah. How you and doing? Mwah. Good, how are you? So this is our morning routine. Kevin makes the coffee. I am going to make my egg mug muffin. Kevin. I am going to challenge you. I'm going to make my mug muffin um, as quickly as you can make the coffee. It's on. Okay. Let's do it. So I'm going to grab my mug and get started. And I'm at a bit of a disadvantage one-handed here. <laughs> that buys me more time. Yeah, it does. So for the mug mug muffin, you add in a little bit of flour to make our muffin base. These ingredients are needed in such small amounts. That's what makes them so convenient to make. A little bit of flour, a little bit of raising agent. You got a helper? Oh, I do. <laughs> That's not fair, you're at an advantage. A little bit of baking powder, a little bit of baking soda, make it rise. And of course, a little pinch of salt. How's Kevin do? Kevin, are you moving I'm along? I'm getting there. there, I'm moving to my water, <laughs> but uh, you know, it still has to brew. Yeah. So into my mug muffin, I'm going to add in a little bit of egg. Just a little bit of beaten egg. All right, while the coffee's brewing, I'm gonna go change Georgie. Bye-bye. Good luck. Okay, see you in a minute. So mix this all together. Into this, I'm going to add in a little bit of milk. Just a tad little bit of oil. You can use flavorless oil, and you can use a um, melted butter either. This is a really great breakfast and we're gonna mix it all together. What you can do to be even faster is mix it up the night before. So now I'm gonna add in my nice things that give the muffin lots of flavor. Some scallion. I'm gonna add a little bit of grated cheddar cheese. I add in Irish cheese. Give that a mix around. Oh my gosh, I better hurry up. I hear Kevin's machine going. And into this, I'm going to crack in a whole egg. Now this is what makes this mug meal really incredible. And just so you know, all of these mug meal recipes can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit more cheese for good measure. And then, right into the microwave. Into the microwave. I'm going to start it off at a minute. And it shouldn't take much longer than that. All you want it to do is for the top to be a little bit firm and your egg to be fully cooked inside. This is a great breakfast, especially if you're in a hurry. Like I said, make it up the night before. We always have it on shoot days, because today is a shoot day. You'll notice we've got lights set up. We are going to be recipe testing in here and doing some, um, some food photography. You gotta be well fueled for busy days like that. There we go. Breakfast is served. Oh, good timing, Kevin. Jim. I think we need a new coffee machine. <laughs> Definitely. I think we need a new coffee maker, Still Kevin. Still not done. Uh, fair, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I've got this wiggly worm here too. Mm. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is such a great breakfast here. Oh man. Don't talk with your mouth full, FYI. Mm. <laughs> got the egg ready to go. Um, so breakfast is really important in this house, also with coffee. So we're going to finish this and then we're going to head out for our morning walk. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's grab waffles. We're going to take a walk around Santa Monica. All right. So before we start our work day, Kevin and I always like to go outside and exercise. It's really important. And we bring waffles with us and baby George. And we head off around Santa Monica and see what we can see. You know, you can't have all this lovely baking and cakes and cookies without having to do a lot of exercise. And that's Jen, what we do. Don't forget your mask. Don't forget my mask. Good job, Kevin. Let's mask, do it. Baby George, waffles, Kevin. And we're ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we'll see you guys in a bit. 
So after my walk, I get ready for the day and I head into the kitchen. So this is my favorite part. This is recipe testing. So I get to try out different recipes. I get to edit them. I practice. I see what's going to go up on biggerbolderbaking.com and I just get ready for the week ahead. Also in my downtime, I edit photography to go up on the website. So always I'm busy, busy, busy. So I'm happy to say that my recipe testing today was a huge success and this recipe for whole wheat bread is going to be coming your way really soon. Unfortunately, I can't eat this because it's for food photography later on, but I am going to make myself some lunch, a loaded baked potato soup in a mug. Now, if you've ever had a loaded baked potato, it is cheese, it is onions, it's sour cream, it's bacon, it's all those yummy things. And we're going to put that in a mug in a soup. I have my mug here and I'm going to grab for myself my peeled potato. So if you are by yourself and you need a quick meal, the way I like to think about it is that mug meals are real food fast, not fast food. So as you can see, it's made with good quality, proper, real ingredients that will fill you up, that'll keep you going for the day and you can make in no time at all. So I'm gonna put some water on top of these guys. And like I said earlier, the recipe is on my website. I'm going to pop this into the microwave and we're going to cook the potatoes until they're nice and soft. Now, like I said, it's loaded baked potato. So we need some cheese, some bacon, some onion and some scallion to garnish. So all you need is a little bit of onion. We have some bacon to go into our loaded baked potato soup. And I cooked that bacon in the microwave. So this really is from start to finish in the microwave. Got a little bit of grated cheese there. And I'm going to chop a scallion to garnish on top. Here we go. Now the microwave just pinged. So let's go check on our potatoes. So once your potatoes are tender, just drain off that water. So into here, we're going to add in our onion that we chopped up. We're going to add in our bacon, all the lovely, yummy flavors. Now to thicken our soup, we're going to add in a little bit of cornstarch. This just thickens it. Going to add in some salt and pepper to season it because no matter where you're making your meal, everything needs salt and pepper. And of course you can't have a loaded baked potato without some cheese in there. Let's give that a mix and let the cornstarch mix throughout. <laughs> Never mind loaded potato, I loaded my mug with ingredients. Okay, lovely. So into this, all you need is a little bit of chalk and stock. I was gonna say chalk and stock. I was gonna say chalk and stock. <laughs> so all we need for this now is a little bit of chicken stock. Now you can use store-bought or you can use homemade and a little bit of milk. And that's really all you need. The thickening agent in there is going to thicken up your soup and also the potato because it's so starchy it thickens up your soup also. So we're just gonna add those in there. Look at that, a meal in minutes. And just so you know, you can make this up ahead of time, keep it in the fridge, maybe even the night before, and then just like microwave it fresh the next day. So all you want to do now, because all of our ingredients are cooked, we want to get it nice and hot. So all we're doing here is just heating it up enough so the cornstarch thickens and all your ingredients get nice and hot. So when you make your loaded baked potato soup in a mug, make sure you garnish it with sour cream, cheese, scallions, all those yummy things. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. <laughs> it's bacon and cheese and potatoes. I mean, what could be better? Hmm? Waffles are grease. So I'm gonna have my lunch. I'm gonna finish my work. And then I'm gonna move on with the rest of my day. So often I spend my afternoon answering fan comments. We get thousands on a weekly basis coming from the website, all social media platforms and YouTube. It's really important for me to answer comments because I feel like it was a deal we made with you guys early on, where if you watched our videos, if you made our recipes, we would um, answer your comments, we would help you, we would guide you as best way we can. So we are six years into this and we're still answering comments. So, you know, it's just important because you guys are super important to me. So I liked to be able to help you as best I can. And Waffles is here. Oh, that's great, Waffles. <laughs> Waffles is here for support. <laughs> He's not the most helpful. That's not, you're not helping. You're not helping things. No, you're not. So I've been at this for a while. The website is down to 106 comments, which I 
think is awesome because it was at over 200. So now what I'm going to do is take a well-deserved break and make myself a little snack. So I'm going to make one of my favorite sweet mug cakes, which is banana bread in a mug. Now it is around three o'clock. You're starting to feel that three o'clock slump and you need a little bit of a pick me up. And I want something that's a little bit sweet and a little bit carby as well, to be honest with you. So into our mug, I'm going to add in some fresh banana. I always have bananas in the house. We're just gonna mash that up. There we go. Now into our mashed banana. You don't have to be too finicky about that. We're going to add in a little bit of maple syrup. Doo -doo -doo. A little bit of oil. You can also add in melted butter if you wish. And a little bit, this is optional, but in my house, we always do it, a vanilla extract. A little bit of that in there. And we're just gonna give these guys a mixy mixy. Mix them all up. Oh my gosh. Like even that smells delicious already. Ooh, yummy. Okay. So now, into this we are going to add in some oat flour. So what oat flour is, is ground oats. You can use all purpose flour for this if you want, but the oats are really great for this snack because um, they are filling, they are slow releasing with energy and they're just like really good. They really make you feel like you've eaten something. There we go. So mix that all together in there. So here's what we're gonna do. This is what I love in my banana bread. Kevin's blueberries. Kevin has these for his breakfast and every day I take a few for different reasons and then he wonders what happened to all his blueberries. Really, it was me. There we go. Blueberries and banana are just so good together. I mean, seriously, how long did it take me to do that? Like two minutes? And now it's ready for the microwave. This looks amazing. Always just in time. Snack time. Gemma, I've been getting lots done while Georgie's been taking his nap. Good job. Mm, that's delicious. This is so good. You know what, that would make a good breakfast. I would eat it for breakfast. Yeah, definitely. with all the oats and everything, yum. Absolutely. Um, is he up from his nap? Because I think I hear I him. I think he is. I yeah. think it's playtime. It's playtime. Let's go. Okay. Here, back my I'm mug. taking it. Uh. So Kevin and I are very fortunate that we both work from home and we work for ourselves, which means that we get to have family time in the afternoon. So no work. It's all about George and reading, singing, playing, dancing, whatever it is. We really enjoy this time in the afternoon. Hi, Papa George. So Kevin is going to take care of George. It's dinner time, so I'm going to head into the kitchen and make us something to eat. So for dinner, I'm going to have my favorite, which is fettuccine alfredo. So I'm a huge, huge pasta fan. You can use good quality store-bought, or you can make my own homemade, my two-ingredient one. That's really good too. I'm not sure if you know this, but you can easily cook pasta in the microwave. It is super simple and it's fast too. So we're just going to put some water on this. So we're just gonna cook through the pasta until it has a little bit of a bite. And then we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients to make the sauce. So after a few short minutes, this is what your pasta will look like, perfectly cooked. So now we're just gonna strain off this water, because we don't need that. Do keep a little bit of it though, because just like when you're making any type of a pasta dish, you always want a little bit of that pasta water reserved to help make the sauce and it's nice and starchy as well, so it thickens it. So to this, I am going to add a little splash of cream. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. You can add fresh garlic if you wish. A little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. And then a little bit, or a lot bit, of Parmesan. Lovely. Now I'm just gonna mix all those up. So there we go. Now all you have to do is just pop this guy into the microwave until it gets nice and hot, your sauce thickens, and um, you're ready to go. So we're a little bit extra here in this household, so I'm gonna add even more cheese on top. 
Now, because it is summertime, it is a gorgeous day here in Santa Monica. We are actually going to eat our dinner outside, which is what we do in the evenings sometimes. We like to get out of the house because it's a nice way to unwind from the day. And also George loves to be outside looking at the trees and the leaves and everything. So it's this time of the evening that Georgie goes to bed. So we give him one last bottle. We sing him a little Irish song and usually he is out straight away. So it is winding down time. It's been a long day, but I'm not going to round out this day of mug meals without having one of my favorite sweet mugs for dessert, which is a Nutella mug brownie. This is really, really easy because it's just three ingredients. So we have our chocolate spread. Look at that. <laughs> you know what? If you want this to be your dessert, there's no judgment here. Just go for it. You can use any kind of chocolate spread you find. This is a little bit of a sticky job. But that's okay, it's still gonna taste great. I'm gonna grab the second ingredient, an egg. This is what's gonna help us form our little cake. We whisk those two ingredients together. This is a really fantastic dessert for um, like a last minute kind of a snack because it's only three ingredients. You nearly always have these ingredients in your house and it's just super fast to make. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our last ingredient, which is a little bit of flour. I have made this before for dinner parties when I've had friends over and I realized I didn't make any dessert and I just whipped this up last minute. There you go, in real time. It is super fast and easy to make. This is kind of a messy job, but that's okay, it's delicious. Let's pop this guy into the microwave. Shimmy over there, Kev. Yeah. Oh man. You know how to end the day right. Yeah. Jim, that was a full day. It was. It was a really busy day. Full of mug meals, full of life and Georgie yeah. and work and all that jazz. A little bit behind the scenes. Yep. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We haven't really done an episode like this before, mm. so it's it's kind of it's unique, you know, letting people in. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. We'll see you back here real soon. Oh, it's not at the bottom because it's all kind of fudgy. Oh, I know. You got to get down there. <laughs>